Dear students, this is the last part of our case study for part number 6. In this, we will integrate all that we have learned about the protein that we were dealing with and integrate it into an entire scoring platform. So the data that we have now is the MS1 data, the MS2 data and the in silico spectrum that we generated from the candidate proteins coming in from the protein sequence database. It would be really nice if the scores that were obtained for each uh, one of them is integrated into a single system so that we can have a quantitative quality measure on the candidate proteins. So the integrated scoring schemes, they couple these factors together and we will see how these work for the case study. So you know that the simple uh, linear scoring scheme that we discussed earlier comprises of the summation of the score obtained from MS1, the PST score obtained from MS2 and the experimental and theoretical spectrum comparison that we did after we finished with the PST. So a simple strategy that we discussed earlier was to just add these scores up and you arrive at a single numerical value that will give you the quality of your candidate proteins match. At this stage, it is important to note that the score obtained from the MS1 or the score obtained from MS2 or the score obtained from MS3, they're all different in magnitude. So it is very hard for a linear function to capture the non-linearity in all of these scores. So therefore, there is a need to come at a better scoring function which can better exhibit the contribution of each score. So we require a scoring scheme that can better exhibit the contribution from each one of the sources that I just mentioned. So one way would be to simply add up scores after weighing them with the error as shown here. So you have the score coming in from MS1 and you weigh it with the error that is there after the measurement of MS1. Then you have the score from the PST and you divide it by the RMSE and you sum them up over the entire PSTs. And similarly, you have the score from the experimental and theoretical spectrum and that you count them all up for the entire set of proteins. So in this way, you will have an integrated score and the next step would simply be in order for it to become non-linear is to introduce weights that are multiplied with the scores from each like that. So W1, W2 and W3 can be altered according to the need and the quality of the spectrum. So if you can tune W1, W2 and W3 then you can actually increase or decrease the contribution from each one of these scoring elements. In this way, after tuning, you can have a realistic score that you have. So, the protein that we were discussing can be measured for its scores coming in from each one of these elements and then you can weigh each element by looking at the quality of the spectra at MS1 level or the quality of the spectra at MS2 level and so on and so forth. So a comprehensive scoring scheme can therefore combine all of the scores that you generate during MS1, MS2 and so on and that you can weigh each of the scores in order for it to be uh, weighed and increased or decreased according to the quality of the spectra. Also, several optimization techniques exist which you can apply in order to determine W1, W2 and W3 and, and arrive at a better score.